Morning everyone. So, I uh, decided to pull one from the collection today. Now you can see it's missing right behind my head because that's it's, uh, it's on my desk. So, let's have a look at uh, this truck here today. So, what started out as the uh, 86 Viterra Ascender K5 Blazer has now turned into this. Um, the Ascender was the first crawler I bought and I've kind of just been in love with it since. Um, now I have, I've done a few competitions with it. You know, I'm still not the greatest at <laughs> driving a crawler. I've only done a few of them. Uh, I, I do more, I have more fun doing trails, you know, just trail running and shit. So the crawling course competitions, uh, you know, they're just, just kind of for me to, uh, as much as I enjoy them, uh, even though I'm not very good at them, it's just trying to get more experience driving that style whereas you know I have more fun and I'm used to driving just trails and doing just standard trail running but this truck I bought brand new and have been slowly modding it as you can see very extensively so originally the Lexan body that came on this thing was it was just the red uh, RTR version uh, 86 k5 blazer and it was it looked really cool I did kind of some sort of half-ass interior in it um, I did a half-ass interior and the whole bed section whereas now that I've got the RC four-wheel drive body it's got all that in it already so you can see in the back here let me open her up I've got a cooler, I've got a spare jerry can, I've got the uh, ESS dual sound system in there, and uh, a nine tails. Because, yes, I'm a bit of a Pokemon nerd. It is what it is. So, yeah, nine tails is in there. The sound system is in there. Um, that little section in the floor in there. That's, uh, originally when I had this body mounted, I had to use that side to cut out that section to make room for the, the suspension, and it just, I ended up mounting it a little bit better to where I could fill that in. So now that it's been filled in, and it's kind of just resting on a piece of aluminum and leather there. So, this chassis was never really made for this kind of body but I made it. When it comes to the chassis itself, I didn't really change much. Um, I took out the rear body mounts and just put this piece of aluminum that I cut up at work and a piece of leather on top of it. So it didn't really destroy the body any more than I already did. Um, still got the stock ESC, the stock motor. Um, I've had to replace the motor once just because, you know, sinking it at the beach or in water the motor, the first motor that came with this thing died out. So, nothing chassis-wise has changed. Uh, still got the stock battery mount. Uh, I got a newer, the original servo died on me, so I've got a high-tech, yeah, it's a high-tech servo in there now. Changed out the 100 millimeter shocks that came stock or 110, whatever the hell they were, black plastic shocks for 90 mil blue aluminum threaded body shocks all the way around. It's got these IROC Super Swampers and these plastic bead locks came off of a Red Cat. So I've got those on here. I've got aluminum hubs in the rear. I've got aluminum in the front as well the the carriers and the steering knuckles those are aluminum I have the brass wheel weights in there just on the front because uh, I, I got them to fit when not fall out whereas on the rear they would just fall out because they were made to be used with the Viterra aluminums not the hot racing aluminums so on the Viterra ones 
the brass wheel weights would bolt with a single screw to the hub on the rear and the front. But with these hot racing ones that I picked up, they don't allow for that, so they would just fall off in the rear. So I just left them off. Now these pieces of aluminum here on both sides, those are where the body is mounted. As you can see, the body mounts. And then up front here, I've got another piece of aluminum. So this is what it looks from the top side, the hood open. Yeah, I've got a, a busted hinge, but it still works, so. Um, so as you can see, this piece of aluminum here is bolted in there, and it's also bolted to the front. So this body does not come off easily, but I do not need to take it off because my battery axis is right through here. So I busted out this window because I really didn't want it. I wanted to take out the other window as well, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So I've got a driver in there. It's uh, an old Gundam high-grade death scythe kit that I had lying around as spare parts. So he's a little small, but eh, he's there. Why not? Again, as you can see, Gundam. So I figured, why not use a kit that I had lying around to have a driver? But as you can see, this is the standard RC four-wheel drive 76K5 Blazer, or 75K5 Blazer, whichever one, whatever the hell the one is they sell. So it's got the interior. Now this is running, I've got, I think, ambers in here. I've got blues here whites here and then red and amber in the back so overall it's got it's got 10 led lights kicking around in it along with the sound system um so i've done quite a bit to this truck not as much as other people have um eventually because it, it is very top heavy currently eventually uh i want to uh add some heavier links to bring a little make it a little bit heavier and keep the weight a little bit more down low to make it a little bit more, more balanced but um as of right now it does decent um it does pretty decent it'll do what i kind of mostly what i tell it to it does get stuck a little bit because it's a little on the slower side um i've geared it up a little bit but I may end up uh, changing motor to something with a little bit more speed, a little bit less torque. But, you know, with these crawlers, you kind of want torque. But, I mean, you know, you can sacrifice a little bit for a little bit of wheel speed. And, you know, not be too screwed when you actually go over some really big obstacles. Another thing I plan on eventually doing is... Uh, getting the brass weighted uh, diff covers for the, both the front and the rear. I know they're small pieces and adding just that little bit of weight. I mean, it should help a bit. So, I mean, it is a pretty heavy truck to begin with. So, hell, I think I may might even eventually go brushless with this thing. I just don't know if I'm going to do that yet. So right now, I'm just running it as I have it sitting here. But I've had I've had this truck for a few years, quite a few years, and honestly, this thing it's been awesome, and I've had a lot of fun with it. You know, just driving it through the trails, screwing around in the backyard, chasing my kids with it, you know, chasing their trucks with it. It's just it's just been a lot of fun to play with this thing, and it it takes very good pictures if you line it up right. I mean, I've got a few photos of it just driving around in the grass and in you know some dirt holes and it looks really good you know so i've just been very happy with it it's a shame that Viterra discontinued this truck and you know the the other ascenders it's just such a fun truck and for you know i mean i this is one of the only trucks i bought brand new and I, I really haven't had anything really bad to say about it. 
No, aside even even aside from the the stock servo failing mid competition, I mean it was the stock servo. It really wasn't meant for any heavy duty rocks or you know trying to get these wheels to turn through anything like super heavy duty. Man, the motor needed to be replaced. It, it's it's kind of what you get when you buy ready to run trucks. You know, you you get whatever they throw in it and. You know, I got quite a quite a lot of use out of it, so I'm pretty happy overall. So like I said before, as for battery access, it's just through the hood. It's a bit funky, but I can get it pretty quickly. So I've got this here, Gen Ace's battery. I've had it for a little while. Um, now I'm just going to throw her in it. Pop the hood. Hood bar. Now, battery slides in, and it just pops right in. Now, I don't have it tied down or anything, but let's get it hooked up. So, as you can see, oh wait, no, I got the white lights here, white lights here, blue lights there. So, there it is all lit up. And there it is back on the shelf. So that's my K5 Ascender. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more stuff from the collection, for more projects I got going on. And, you know, uh, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out and, you know, message me on any of the social medias that'll be linked down below. You can email me directly. That email will be linked down below as well. Or, you know, like and comment on this video if uh, you've got an Ascender or you got something that you like that is the, uh, similar. Or, you know, if you just got any any questions or concerns. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified of all my latest videos. And stay tuned for what's to come.